information tonight after an innocent seven-year-old boy is killed in a shooting involving deputies and a suspected car thief. It happened in Shirts, that's just outside of San Antonio. Our Aaron Cargyle is live in the Pecan Grove Mobile Home Park, where the sheriff is now saying they don't believe the suspect had a gun. Aaron. That's exactly right, Sydney. The sheriff says that he does not believe that she was armed when four deputies decided to open fire. Prior to that, the sheriff says that when she had her first run in with a deputy today, she did have a gun. He says she pulled it out and told that deputy, I have a weapon. I am going to shoot you. And that's what started all of this. According to the sheriff, she had stolen a car, also had outstanding felony warrants, and was hiding in a, in a closet at a friend's house about a mile away from here when that first deputy showed up. She took off running. The deputy started chasing her through a wooded area and called for backup. A search began in the air and on the ground. The suspect ended up in this mobile home park and, according to the sheriff, was trying to break into random homes, even threatening neighbors that she encountered along the way. Deputies say they came face to face with her again while she was standing on someone's front front porch and that is when those four deputies one holding a rifle the other's handguns decided to pull the trigger shooting at least a dozen times again something in the way that that uh, suspect presented to the deputies placed these deputies in direct fear for their lives they fired several shots each at the suspect the suspect was was shot at least several times that we know of she fell there and died at the scene and seconds later, that is when deputies realized that one of the bullets also struck a seven-year-old boy inside the mobile home. He was inside with one of his parents and another child, one of his relatives. When that bullet struck him in the torso, he was taken to the hospital where he later died. And deputies say there is no connection between the suspect and that little boy. Also, I spoke with the suspect's mother tonight. She was out here on scene. She told me she sends her condolences to the boy's family and also believes that deputies got it wrong when they decided to pull the trigger. She is criticizing their actions here today. Also, uh, deputies, the deputies do believe that that suspect was armed earlier, so they believe she may have dropped the gun somewhere uh, between here and that home about a mile away where all of this began. So that search will continue for that weapon on into the morning. We'll, of course, keep following the story and let you know as we learn more. Sydney, back to you. That's really heartbreaking. Thank you.